Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. So today we're going to take a look at Stroke Machine. Okay, so uh, Tim Webb from Discord did a video on this uh, a couple of weeks ago on his Let's Play <coughs> series for the Patreon. And uh, he covered uh, lots of things on the, on the sine wave and stuff. But just since that, this has got a, a, another update, so I thought I'll do one. We'll cover some different things as well, like basically setting it up, um, saving your patterns and stuff, and, and things like that. So, <clears throat> main thing to remember with this is this, and this is their this is their description that a kit is a pattern and a pattern is a kit. So that's it basically, and uh, you have twelve percussion parts and twelve melody parts that you can play with okay so this is um <clears throat> some new new things as well that they've added also lots of new midi stuff which i'm not really going to go into because i'm a midi um but also if you hit this little cc thing here you see you can midi learn everything you like and it has lots of ways to assign different things to different things okay so a couple of other new features as well also it also now has a uh, pads and uh, a, a mixer Okay, and these are basic sounds. Now, um, also another new thing is now that you can, you see this here is our tempo. This is our swing, and this is our our, our amount of bars, and this is our time signature. So it's one bar, but now you can, if you hold it, you can go up, and you can have sixteen bars in one pattern or kit, if you like. But for now, we're just going to stick with one bar. Now, also you will see that these have some different colours in them as well you see okay so that refers to the muting or the soloing so if you touch them you'll get a you don't have to have the preview you can switch it off and you'll get nothing but if you put preview on you can preview the actual sound that's in that particular kit and there's nothing in the melodies so there you go now <clears throat> to turn the mutes on and off you hit mute here and you can see that the color is 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 uh, like a, a mustardy color. I've got this on the subdued, the subdued um, uh, color as well. So to turn the mute off on those, let's just play this pattern. So this is a basic first off 808 kit that comes with it. So let's unmute some of these. notice you have to if I touch this now nothing will happen it just selects what's playing if I want to mute again okay and you can see it has this nifty little counter now that counts round and the same works for solo you have to select solo and of course now you can also do this from the mixer without having to worry about being sort of solo. And then this is where you can loop your various effects. Okay? And then there's some stuff in the room. So let's go back to the sound and let's stop that for a sec. So that's basically covered that um, that kind of thing here. You'll see that this right here, well if I make some changes this when I hit right here, it will it will overwrite, it will give me a it will give me a um, a little thing to ask if I want to overwrite that kit or save it as a new kit, which would be 8081 or something like that. This here, this little button here, this records your loop to an audio file. And this little button here will record your performance to an audio file. And this is just your global settings for different things. There's no recordings in there. But if you do, you can audio, audio copy them. So if I was to have recorded something with that, it would appear here. And then the skin is subdued, master tuning, a metronome is switched on, metronome volume, and then there's uh, some different bits and pieces here. Um, right, okay. So, oh, sorry. Let's go back to sound. Now, let's, this is how, oh, yeah, one more thing is there's a pattern thing here, which allows you to quick access patterns, and you can quick access, I think, as a 128 of them. Okay, now there's a slight bug with this at the moment. It doesn't function the way it should in the uh, in the instruction manual, but uh, I'm sure it'll be that'll be fixed really really quick. Um, but it's not that necessary anyway. You can do it the same from the pattern selector. But um, let's just 
go back to our normal setting here or also another thing as well as while we're in while we're in percussion mode here you will see that it says stroke machine and it's from the developer frank or from frank um if you hit me the melody section here which changes to the the key the, the the synthesizers or sampler you'll see that the center part has been replaced by a glide okay so that's that's that and then we have um <clears throat> sound selector here and our effects here which we'll get to in a sec and the last thing we have here is our uh, step sequencer so you can enter notes that way as as uh, as normal and then here we have our kit our kit selector here or, or pattern selected if you like so if we go into uh, preset kits these are all the kits and all we need to do is just hit that it will just scroll through the kits if you just hit a new kit. Oh, I don't want to bother with that. So now we want to start with a completely blank canvas. So we're going to hit not clear pattern because clear pattern will just clear the pattern. Okay. Uh, so you can reprogram that pattern but with the same sounds. What we're going to do is hit clear here and this will initialize the whole program. So you have initial kit and initial kit there as well. So let's just uh, rename this initial kit for a start off and call it, uh, oh, we'll call it Doug, Doug's kit for want of a better thing for this and return. And uh, so we have Doug's kit now, but we know that there's now in there. So if we play, there's nothing going on. And also we're going to leave this on one bar so we can, it's completely, it's completely blank and we're on the percussion section and the melodic section will be the same pretty much. So <clears throat> there's loads of ways to alter the sound. I suggest you watch Tim's video to uh, listen to how he creates bass drum and stuff with the actual oscillators, which is very nice. But just for the, just for the kickoff, we're going to select this first one here. Okay. And I'm going to use this and select sample. Um, sample, okay. And a sec, kick pop five. So let's just have a quick listen to that. So let's put some. Let's just put some beats in there and see what this sounds like. Okay, and it's, you can hear it's really quiet. So we're going to stay with that, but just to, just to show you here, there are lots of uh, samples that are already included here, so you can choose from all these. And this is this is quite a big one because it includes various things. And we can so we'll, we'll choose that one. Okay, and now we're gonna. What we're going to do is make this a little bit more, uh, a, a little bit more punchy, I think. So drive. <clears throat> we'll switch, switch it on. See straight away now we're getting a bit. And what we'll do is we'll switch the EQ on. And. So that's give that a little bit more kick. <clears throat> now, if we wanted to, we could now bring in our, our second oscillator. Drop that down a bit. And we'll take the level down a little bit now. And that, so that's quite a nice kick going on there. And uh, what we want to do now is to save confusion. <coughs> Excuse me is to save confusion is we're going to give this a name here so what we need to do is hit this little button here and let's call this um, kick <laughs> okay and we've got kick down there so now we've got a kick drum we want to go and add some snare so we can do that so i'm going to use the sample again <coughs> and it starts off with it gives us a, a snare to load in for a start, so let's see what that sounds like. And 
again I'm going to give that some and I'm going to give it a little bit of drive as well not quite that much I don't think and I think also for this particular sound we shall give it some um, let's just just stop a sec. Oh yeah, and I, and now I'm going to save this, okay, in case anything goes wrong or it crashes or something. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So we hit right, and it says replace dug kit or right to dug kit one. So I'm going to replace dug kit now because there was nothing there to start with. I think what we'll do now is we're going to add some uh, effects to that snare. We'll add a little bit of reverb, I think. So let's play it again. Now you can see here you have our uh, FX plus one and FX is down completely uh, we can so we can route this to any of the four effects buses okay so if we hit effects now we know that it's effects bus one and uh, it looks like the dynamics are turned on and small plate reverb is uh, selected modulation is off but we can leave that off and we're going to stick with small plate and we'll just go back to our sound and we'll just mix in our effects mix sounds quite nice now it's getting louder so we can actually turn our mixer down now that's dead handy of course we have our pan okay. and there's our effects mix as well I think what we'll do is we'll give that a little bit of extra punch and all now the bass drum so if we hit our back to our kick and we'll just uh, drive that up a little bit more That's it. So for our, we want to name that snare now. We'll go back to our sound, and we can see we've got snare. Now let's just add some hi hats now, and we'll finish with the drums. But you can see now that you could, you could then go on and on. Behind DMX hi hat, I think. Okay. Oh, I'm quite happy with that. That can stay as it is. Maybe just knock that down a little bit in the mix. Okay, and uh, we'll give it a name. back to our sound so see I'm gonna save it again and replace Doug's kit now <clears throat> at this point you'd be thinking well I oh maybe I should have chosen two 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 so if we go to step here you'll see there's our there's what we've got there but say for instance now I think oh I'm gonna I want this to be I want this to have more than one bar I like that pattern but I want it to have more than one bar uh, so I should, should I have selected that? Well, no, you can don't need to do that. If you go to two here, we'll just move that to we'll three, we'll three there, two. So now we have two bars. So let's see what happens when we play. It jumps along and there's nothing there, right? You can see it. That we're counting away. We've doubled up our thing. And of course, when it stops, you can skip over to your next section. So you could program it in again or slightly differently if you wanted to. But there's a much quicker way to do this. And it's lots easier as well. So if we go to our step thing again, you will see that we have some options here. Repeat beat in kit, repeat bar in kit, and clear pattern again completely. You can copy, paste, click. If we just hit here, repeat bar in clip, in kit, sorry, what we'll, have, what we'll have done now is we'll have copied that into our next bar. And if we'd have had 16 bars, it would have done the whole thing as well. So let's see what happens. Okay. So that's a very simple thing now, and that's good because what we're going to do now is head on, head on over to our melodic. I'm just going to save that as well. Now this is our. So I'm going to say okay. So we've got one oscillator working there, and I'm going to choose a pulse wave. 
And I'm going to drop this down to C... C2. If I can find it. It's really hard to see. There we go. I'm going to make some adjustments to the... Put a little bit of noise in. Let's bring oscillator two in and choose a triangle. And let's put some um, transient in. And let's put some bit reduction in as well, just for a laugh. And we're starting to get a nice ring modulated toner. And I'm going to select Effects Bus 2 for this. Go to FX. And uh, we're going to, I'm going to turn on the m modulation. Let me just get back there and give it some mix. Now you notice I've got a delay there as well because the delay is switched on as well. So I'm going to choose a, a reverb. So I'm just going to head on back to sound here. So now, Chris, you can you can mess around with this, okay? And you could you instead of having um, like for instance, let's choose a sample here. Let's go to preset samples. Let's go to back in time. Let's go to instruments, and let's choose uh, that. And we're going to have to make some adjustments here. I think so we can hear it. to just adjust reduction a little bit and the transient mix. At this point I'm thinking why can't I really hear my bass sample? Anyway, who knows? I'm sure it's there. Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. I need it to be C2. C3 might be okay. Anyway, for whatever it is, you can mess around with the sound for forever and ever. It's a synth. Um, so let's just quickly record some of that stuff. Now, if we if we hit record while it's stopped, it'll give us a two bar count in. One bar. And there we go, it's done. And then we can replace Doug's kit. Um, I think what we'll do as well is I'm not happy with that sound at all. So I could start to play around with it a bit. Now also as well, something else is the assign here for the LFO. We can assign the LFO uh, pretty much anywhere. So we could assign it to the noise cutoff and the resonance and the and the what's it. Uh, the, the level of the noise as well. Okay, so let's...
So there you go, guys. Um, a look at what you can do. So you need to play around with it, um, making making the effort to uh, create your own sound with a bit more care and attention than I did. Although that sounds okay, to be fair. Um, like uh, I said, you've seen the new, some of the new features it's got. It's still really cool as, as a as a as a cool groove box thing. It's similar to the uh, uh, the hardware electribes. A lot of people think that this is what the uh, Korg's Eye electribe should have been more like. But you know, you do have this now, so it's cool, and it gets updated. This, like I said, it's just had a huge, huge, massive update, uh, and and I really like it. I enjoy playing with it. It's uh, it's good fun and it's easy to save stuff once you know how. It's a little bit weird to, when you get started and the fact that you can have 12 instrument parts and 12 percussion. I mean, you can put percussion parts in there as well. It doesn't matter. But you're never going to want to use 24 tracks. Well, it's unlikely you're going to want to use 24 tracks of, of instruments and stuff, you know. And don't forget the different ways that you mute and solo that you can add your add your bars you can add further and further bars now if you wanted to and then start to add stuff as well uh, we have a couple of envelopes here which are pretty straightforward attack decay and uh, sustain and release as well as how, basically how they work um and the different things are cool you know the filters the the fact that you have noise the fact that you can assign your stuff anywhere you like so it's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you do like the video or subscribe to the channel, visit the website www.thesoundtestroom.com and uh, I'll see you later.